now. Shiner. Here. Sam Spada. Here. Vivian Walton. Here. Legal notice. Notice is hereby given that the Town of Shandagan Planning Board will hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274-B of the state law and as prescribed by the district schedule of area and bulk regulations of the Shandagan Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. Regarding an application for special use permit submitted by David and Dara Heinlein for a parcel located at 683 Route 214, Chichester, New York, further identified as SBL number 14.5-2-7, located in a residential one and a half acre zoning district, district, the applicant would like a special use permit for a guest cottage. Public hearing is scheduled for November 14th at 6.45 p.m. at the Shandaken Town Hall. Just 
our home in Chichester in 1992. There was a garage on the property that was plumbed. It had electric and a wood stove, and it was an art studio for many years. In 2012, we came to speak with the um, building inspector about converting the garage into a guest cottage that was for a family member following the flood. And we were informed that as long as we didn't put a kitchen in and the cost was under $10,000, we were free to move forward. We created a bathroom. Um, it, uh, there's no kitchen. And it was converted into a short-term rental in 2016 um, in the original space of the garage. There were no changes to the footprint. In fact, it's smaller than the garage was because we're using a part of the garage for something. So, so when we put in our STR um, um, permit request in speaking with Grace, we learned that we need to get a CFO for that space. And so we've come before you twice um, for a, a, you know, a workshop meeting and we came before you before and this is the, the meeting I suppose where we where we, it's a public thing, public hearing. Okay. So that's where we are. Um, and you all have the letter and the application and the map, and I have the survey for the water, which I showed you the last time we were here, and that was all completed in 2014. The, the new set. Anything else? Any questions? I just have a couple of questions for Grace. Yes. So just remind us the standard procedures. Who did the notice go to? The notice for the public hearing. For the public hearing. Um, anybody who has a budding property, they share a line with, and anybody who is directly across the street from the property receives. Do we put it in what the paper? Do we put it in again? Freeman, I believe, and it goes on the that's website. Our, our paper, right? Okay. So that procedure was followed. Yes. So were you able to uh, attain a certificate of occupancy? We, we, no, we us, we had us first. Us first. Yeah. The use has to I be don't know why there is yeah. a requirement for that. Because we, I can't, the use as it sits right now isn't allowable without a special use permit. Okay. So we can't go in or Donna can't go in and give a CO on a structure that's not been approved by this board. But otherwise we, it has to have this board's approval. Okay, because my concern is that there are a lot of properties in Shandaken that do not have certificates of occupancy. There um, are. The bulk of those predate, right. but this STR process has um, brought to the surface a few. If they were just living there, they wouldn't have to do this, but it's only because they're trying to get a special use permit. Yeah. Okay. So or, we were looking I, I, in or the whatever we're calling the STR. No, even if you were, it, it's a violation. Though the violation was never issued. You were never notified by mail that you were in violation of the code. Right. You were. Okay, so if we wanted to live in the cottage, we could? I would say, I would say, I would say no. That a oh. CO could, couldn't be issued right. until this board approved the special use permit. Okay, just so I understand that. Also, yeah, there's no kitchen, so it's not full time. Right. So how would you live in it? With no kitchen. <laughs> there's a grill outside. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wash dishes in the shower. Yeah. And there's nobody from the public, it seems? No. No emails, no, no letters? No letters, no emails, no phone calls either. There haven't been any nuisances at all. We've been running uh, STR in there since 2016. There haven't been any nuisances. We're on property. Our house is 15 feet away. It's a tiny space for two people. Mm -hmm. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it appropriate to move to close the public hearing? Yeah. yeah. If no one has further questions, yeah. Absolutely. So moved. All set. All in favor? Aye. 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 Grace? Yes. Uh, just one point. Um, her name is Dara. Sorry. Okay. Just wanted to correct that because you're going to write the minutes. It's spelled the same. So. Okay, but in <laughs> the agenda, it's Darla. And oh, I didn't do the agenda. Oh, Let's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, Olivia did the agenda. I can correct that. I'll have her think about it. That's done both ways. Yeah.
on each agenda. Okay, so we got to what? Ten o'clock? To wait? Six minutes. Okay. You can vote on your project at the meeting, which starts at seven. No. That's after this. Oh, right. <laughs> Still recording or aren't? Yeah, I, we are. Did we fix channel 23? Is it still? Is it live? It's working. Oh, awesome. It's an intimate problem. Mm -hmm. So you have a nice American flag and clock picture. Oh, you meant okay. You literally <laughs> meant name it at the clock. I, guess. Yes. I thought you were setting some sort of timer. <laughs> Um, uh, for the hearing, we just adjourned the hearing um, because nobody spoke or, or wrote letters. Oh. So what happens now? Um, uh, the hearing, and, uh, if you want to... Yeah, the hearing's closed and we'll be opening the meeting at 7 o'clock. Joanne Cowell? Here. John Horn? Here. Alan Shiner? Here. Sam Spada? Here. Vivian Walton? Here. Okay. Uh, does anyone have a chance to look over the minutes of the previous meeting? Yeah. I move we approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 These were so fast, I think you issued them before we had the meeting. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Okay. Uh, any communications? That's my own. Okay. Um, Have there been any applications for the planning board? No. no. Not that I'm aware of. It 
has been posted, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's right. All right. Um, and old business. First order is uh, Dave and Dara Heinlein special use permit. Any, uh, any further comments from the board regarding that? Move it be approved as written for the special use permit. Okay. I'll second. Sorry, Judge. Okay. Any other comments? Okay. Um, Dave, you have a motion to approve. Yes. Sorry. Art. Right. Joanne Cow. Yes. John Horn. Yes. Alan Shiner. Yes. Sam Spada. Yes. Vivian Will. Yes. I'll, I'll get together the special use permit. I'll type it up for click to sign. I'll let Donna know that it's been approved. So if you're comfortable at this point, I'll ask Donna to give you guys a call to schedule an inspection for the CO. Excellent. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good Thank evening. You. Okay. Moving right along. Um, Val. So fair. Yes. You're here to extend the special use permit? Yeah. It's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's like across from the Phoenicia Diner. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Has there been any progress on the project? Yeah, if you would, please. Uh, if you come up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as you know, we've been here before, um, and that reason, the reason for that first extension request was um, strictly the, the pandemic and kind of put them back back on their heels. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we are, we have a, a contractor um, who's been awarded the project and we're, we're that close to submitting the building, um, the, the permit drawings uh, for approval uh, just in the past couple of weeks. Uh, but we kind of ran out of time. We'd like to do that almost immediately <coughs> for that matter. So we're ready to go. Okay. Um, and uh, the, the owners are excited to start construction and, and, and get, get things moving right along. Uh, the contractor's name is um, John Rittner. Um, so he'll be submitting the, the plans for uh, review. Great, that's the building department beyond this. Uh, but thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I have no problem with extending it. COVID and contractors are hard. <laughs> it, it, it took its toll, but they're, they're really ready and eager to go now, so I don't anticipate another extension request next well, year. Well, once you get, this just gets you to the building permit stage. Right. Once you get an active building permit, then you're dealing with the building department, not, oh, sure. not us. Oh, well, I understand. I'm just, giving yeah. you, I'm just giving you an update. Your name? Good minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your name? Brad Lee, a Sherman Architecture. So you're, um, you're required to act on the special use permit, and that's what the extension's doing. So at this, once you get that building permit, you've done that and you're done. Great. You don't have to come back here again if the project's still ongoing is what I'm letting you know. Ideally, no. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, we'll take a vote. Yeah. Need a motion to uh, extend? I move we extend this. Second. Roll call or all in favor? Should we always roll call? Yes. Clifford Bufo? Yes. Uh, Art Christy, Joanne Cow? Yes. John Horn? Yes. Alan Shiner? Yes. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Wong? Yes. That's it. All right. You're all set. Thank You're you. Good, set. good luck with everything. Thank you all very much. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay. Um, APFU LLC, is that within? It is, but I don't see Don. So no representative here? No. Okay. Moving on to nothing else. Um, no, Vivian. Vivian. No, oh, see, I, I, you got me excited. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, I can make it. I'll, let me go over here so I don't look like I'm on the planning board. Okay, so this is a continuation of what previous application, but instead of being an application for an accessory dwelling, it's now an application for a guest cottage because I've removed the stove and it no longer has a kitchen. Um, I did get the log line eliminated, so that's all done. Grace has the paperwork. And the um, zoning board approved the distance between the main house and the guest cottage, um, which was I think three feet short. Uh, so they gave me a variance on that. Um, I think you've seen the plan and, and you've seen the map. Um, so I, I'm hoping this can get approved now. It's, uh, we have a nice letter from my neighbor that's the closest to the guest house and he was, uh, he actually wrote, Grace, do you, do you remember uh, Bill Colagrandi had written a letter in support of my application for an accessory dwelling, and he was very supportive. That was read at the zoning department. I'm sure it's true. I just don't have it in front of me. Right. So I just, may, I'll make sure Olivia gets it. I, I know ahead of time that he is supportive, and the other neighbor also was, but did not choose to communicate. Uh, but he's actually quite far from the guest house. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Any questions? So, the, I know the big concern was two lots. The sketch still says to be compliant, but you're, but you're saying that has been done? This is now a new single lot? Uh, well, the sketch that I, oh, that's right. The, so, the dotted line is the eliminated lot line. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. But it says lots to be compliant. So, I would yeah. suggest that when before the public hearing, you, you correct that sketch so that it's clear okay. this is now a single lot. Okay. So, should I sit down? What's that, John? She has submitted an EAF, so do we need to read that into the record? Um, yeah, we should. Somebody like to read that? Yeah, Sam, do you mind reading? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, for our guest cottage, 313 Plank Road, Phoenicia, in back of main house, convert existing artist studio to guest cottage by adding a bathroom, no kitchen, applicant Vivian Welton, phone number, email address, Okay, does the proposed action involve, on, involve only the legislative adoption of a plan, local law, ordinance, administrative rule, or regulation? No. Does the proposed action require a permit, approval, or funding from any other government agency? No. Total acreage of the proposed action, 0.46 acres. Acres to be physically disturbed, zero. Total acreage, 0.46 acres. Check all land uses that occur on, adjoining, or near. We have forest and residential suburban. All right, item five. Is the proposed action a permitted use under the zoning regulations? Yes. Consistent with the adopted comprehensive plan? Yes. Is the proposed action consistent with the predominant character of the existing built or natural landscape? Yes. Is the site of the proposed action located in or does it adjoin a state listed critical environmental area? No. Will the proposed action result in substantial increase in traffic above present levels? No. Are public transportation services available at or near the site of the proposed action? No. Are any pedestrian accommodations or bicycle routes available on or near the site of the proposed action? No. Nine. Does the proposed action meet or exceed state energy code requirements? Yes. Ten. Will the proposed action connect to an existing public private water supply? Yes. Will the proposed action connect to existing wastewater utilities? Yes. 12. Does the project site contain or is it substantially contiguous to a building, archaeological site, or district which is listed on the National or State Register of Historic Places, or that has been determined by the Commissioner of New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation to be eligible for listing on the State Register of Historic Places? No. 
Is the project site or any portion of it located in or adjacent to an area designated as sensitive for archaeological sites on the New York State Historic Preservation Office Chapeau? Archaeological site inventory? No. 13. Does any portion of the site of proposed action or lands adjoining the proposed action contain wetlands or other water bodies regulated by a federal, state, or local agency? Yes. Would the proposed action physically alter, encroach into any existing wetland or water body? No. If yes, identify the wetland. The Esopus Creek on the other side of Plank Road from the site, not near the house or the guest cottage. Uh, item 14, identify the typical habitat types that occur on or are likely to be found. Forest and suburban. 15, does the site of the proposed action contain any species of animal or associated habitats listed by the state or federal government as threatened or endangered? No. Is the project site located in the 100-year floodplain? No. Will the proposed action create stormwater discharge, either from point or non-point sources? No. Point 18, does the proposed action include construction or other activities that would result in impoundment of water or other liquids? No. Has the site of the proposed action or adjoining property been the location of an active or closed solid waste management facility? No. Point 20, has the site of the proposed action or adjoining property been the subject of remediation ongoing or completed for hazardous waste? No. And then it is certified with Vivian's signature, dated 10 31 I have a question on item 11. Talking about existing wastewater utilities, is that? It's tied into the house septic. My, my only question is, is that considered a, a wastewater, I guess? I mean, it's, I, the it's, town's, not it's town septic. I think that I think eleven means is it on town sewer? Oh, okay. I, I think eleven uh, referred to actually whether or not there's going to be a new one. Right. Whether there's a new septic being built. Ah. It's kind of vague. Yeah. It sounds like a, a wastewater treatment plant, mm -hmm. which there is none. But I, I don't. Know. I see what you're saying, Cliff. Is it tying it to something existent? There's no new. Or is there? Yeah. Or no is new septic. septic. But even if you check no, what difference does it make? There'd have to be a provision for new wastewater to yeah. let us know that we need to check for that. Okay. Um, uh, I have a question on number 15. Vivian, aren't you, don't you have rattlesnakes, do you? I, I've had the property since 1998, and there was one rattlesnake. So, but I, I mean, you are on that side. I, like, I'm on the very bottom of yeah. Mount Tremper, and up to, near the top is a rattlesnake habitat. Okay, but I so think I that that should. Sure have to put on that I think it should say yes because you are near endangered or threatened species. Okay. Um, well, but it says this the site contained. It doesn't say are you near them. They could, they could come down. Orin has them all over the place. And she's right down the road from them. But they're up higher. I mean, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of irrelevant. There's no construction happening. Anywhere. Right. Oh, it's right. Only, I just wanted to no, bring no that There's no rattlesnake in the counter time. <laughs> so if you could uh, change that okay. for next month, please. Yeah. All right, you said you spoke to the ZBA already, and they yes. they gave approval for the distances. Yes. Uh, bet what was the uh, between the buildings or from the lot line? I'm between sorry. the main house and the guest house. It's not been signed, no. Okay, but they've, they've gone through their whole process? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It would be good if they could sign it before any public hearing. That's the question comes They have up. a meeting on Wednesday, so I'll make so sure that he gets everything together. All right, perfect. So we, 
next month it'll be done, done, not contingent yes, upon. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, then I guess we could set up a public hearing. Do we need a motion? Uh, I'll take it first. Yeah. Yes. The 14th. 14th. Okay. Fourteen All right, now, now motion, please. I move we have the public hearing. December 14th. December 14th. December 14th, 645 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Oh, I think okay was the second. Oh, I didn't know that. I apologize. <laughs> All in favor. Uh, Aye. Okay. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, all right. Now, am I just skipping anybody else? No, but very quickly, um, Peter said that Pam Beach, is that how I say it? Beach? Pam Beach. Beach. Pam Beach has thrown, I guess, thrown her name in as a planning board member. Oh. Okay. Reached out to the supervisor's office. What was that? Yeah, I didn't understand what you said. What? Someone applied for the planning board. Who? Pam, Pam Beach. She would have to come at our next meeting and be interviewed. Pam Beach. How do you spell that? V E I T C H. V is in Victor. Beach. V E I T C H. Can you give me your contact information? Yeah, I have a number on that. Okay, so get her notified to be here. John, are you ready for reappointment? I get, yeah, I have to write a letter. Okay. And John will also be applied. Yes. Can I ask Peter a question or what's our agenda here? Yeah. The comprehensive plan. Have you committed to hiring somebody to do it? Or is that up to the uh, committee, which is not? I think it would be up to the committee, but I just want a committee to get together, look over the current plan, and determine where it might need to be updated. I mean, it should be updated every five years. Five years, right. It's been longer. Longer than that. Expect, it, it was created in 05. Right. But you don't expect to have like 21 people like the last time. No. Please, no. because that was like a fiasco. I'm hoping for five. Okay. So the, the beginning of the comprehensive plan is a lot of data, right? And, right. and that we're going to do again with updated figures? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it sounds like the committee, its initial purpose is to determine a path forward, how to create the comprehensive plan. Well, if there's room for another, I'd be happy to, to participate. I mean, it's created. You just want to look through it and see the best way to I think in the last 17 years, there's going to be a lot more interest this time around. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we should have some zoning board people also. They'll be here Wednesday if you want to come talk to them around. Okay. Um, what were, do you guys have any questions? Okay. All right, then. Last, but absolutely not least, I promise. I just, the workshop, I've got two people for the workshop. So if we can make sure we've got a quorum for the 30th, that would be great. Okay. It's the Wednesday after Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Oh, the Wednesday before. After. 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 It's the 30th. Oh, if anybody's interested, there's a hazard mitigation meeting here down the hall at 11th. Mitigation. What kind of hazards? Yeah, what kind of hazards? Blood hazards. Oh, no. Okay. All kinds. All kinds. <laughs> Running with scissors. <laughs> Too many attention cords. I'm not going to know about my availability for another couple of weeks. I got I'm on a project that has a client in Idaho. Okay. <laughs> Bring back some potatoes. Bring some potatoes back. On that note. On that note. Question. On the new stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not blaming. I I share the emotion. 
you circulated, was it you or Joyce who circulated an email from Molly home? Are we supposed to yes. do anything with that? No, no. I, I'm not privy to that email. Okay. Uh, the, uh, Olivia sent it. Okay. Oh, she it was Olivia. That, yeah, it was Olivia. Okay. She, again, she's concerned that the rail explorers, they're going to be signing up with the county for another five years or whatever. And she's hoping that we can do something to stop that. She said, despite you saying yeah. that there's nothing you can do, I'm hoping there's something you can do. And what she brought up this time around was the question of whether or not a noise ordinance could be an effective tool. Well, that's, we have a noise ordinance. Right. And her point is, has anybody applied the noise ordinance to the rail explorers? Well, somebody has to make a complaint, and then we send somebody There's plenty out. of complaints. The noise ordinance as it sits is read by decibels. This, the town is not in possession of a decibel, decibel uh, reader meter. meter. We used to have one and they the lost town had one. We had well, one. we don't now. What about the iPhone? Oh, wow. is there a I was going to say, there's got to be an iPhone app. That's not, I don't know that we can <laughs> bring it to a court of law that my phone says. Someone has the to court of law is, is further down the road. First, Someone get people's attention. Someone has to in the use of it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm sure. Classes and not yeah. that. So. And someone has to uh, want to be certified in the use of it. Well, I would have to be. It's zoning, so yeah. I'd have to do it, which is fine. I do it, but we don't. Don't um, have. We're not in possession of what we need in order to. The town have access to Amazon. Amazon. No, but I can put in a voucher for that if I wanted to cover the cost myself. Is there another town or the county that we can borrow one for? This can't be something that doesn't exist close by. Not to my knowledge. I do not know. I show the town of all of us. I'll ask tomorrow. $21 on, on Amazon. 21 21 On Amazon. Well, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, a good one that can be uh, adjusted or I'm sure there are a couple hundred dollars. They're, they're, yeah, they're closer yeah. to 400 Yeah, each. No, that's, that's not surprising. Oh. And I think there's an instrument Well, all I'll say is, again, member of the community, they've, they've, they've had some good reasons to complain. If there's anything the town could do, getting its hands on a decibel reader for just a one-off, can, 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 can you be worth doing? at the town board meeting? We, we have talked about it, and it's, it's in discussion. Um, I think we want to tackle the comprehensive plan first before starting updating homes. Let's just... Yeah, but this is, this is something that's been going on. And those people keep coming to yeah, neighbor, us. Yeah, neighbors keep coming to us them. and saying it's loud, and then we say we don't have a decibel meter. Right. But even if we did, do we have the authority over county to say that you're in violation of this noise order? We didn't even have the authority to yeah. detail their hours of operation. No. So no. do we have well, that, yeah, yeah. that kind of authority? Very, very I honestly don't know it's a question. How would we know? Yeah, we could, we could try to invoke what they call home rule. Okay. I mean, we could do I that. mean, they're a property owner in Shandigan. Yeah. Certainly. No, I'm, I know yeah. her complaints are valid. I know that. Right. I just don't know yeah. exactly how much. No, I meant, I didn't, no, no, I didn't mean, I meant. Uh, the, the county. Yeah, right. Property right. Owner. No, I agree. I think it's, yeah. I think we'd have every right to say you are violating our law mm -hmm. with a noisy, and I'm very pro-business. I like, you know. Of course. But, you know, I think we have to do the right thing by the community. So I think Molly also raised uh, questions about the town ordinance or hours of operation. Is there a law specifying the noise levels yes, from certain times? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In so each zone, it varies. Right. right. And it drops, it, does it taper off before nine as well? Or no, it's just nine no. and then later. I believe so. I can I'd pull come it down 28 in the dock. They're going to no, no, no. I mean the, the, the ordinance. ordinance. I mean the ordinance. Oh, the ordinance. I think yeah. that, that I can look it up. Just give me a second. It's eight. Yeah. I mean, it's in oh, the, no, okay. Yeah. There's like there's like two stages. It tapers and then it drops. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there was some together. question a couple of years ago with the full moon resort also. Right. Right. That People was fireworks, were, right? Sixteen were, you know, complaining. Right. So we really should have that little machine. I move. <laughs> I move that the this. Peter, we I should move, really have that little machine. <laughs> I move this board recommend to the town board purchase of the appropriate metering device so we can enforce our laws. And send our code enforcement officer out with it. <laughs> I second. Sorry, Grace. 
the job, Second. right? Second. We're all in favor. All in favor. I'm sorry. Aye. Aye, aye. That's okay. You're looking for the $16 plus or minus one. So what, if, if, if it's whatever our code is, if it's like a half higher, then you can't say it. But if it's 10 higher. Yeah, but the problem is it's a logarithmic scale. So one is bigger than one. Decibels are logarithmic. Right. Even so, if, it, if it's way out, out of range, you know. You've got something. I agree right. with you. Right. $16. You want to do it? I don't have to do it. Now. I move we close the meeting. Yep. <laughs> I'll second. second. Oh, okay. Aye. Aye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for next month. A A P F U. Okay. It, it's not for the workshop. No. Okay. Why do we need a quorum? No, if we don't vote on the workshop, why do we need a quorum? Need That's a question. Grace brought it up. Yeah. Okay. We, we're not giving binding advice in a workshop, are we? No. Well, no. We don't give advice. We just make recommendations of how to change your plan. Right. So why do you need a quorum if you're not voting? We don't, need, we don't need a quorum for, for, for the workshop, right? But I said that before. Because there's only two but it's good to have it because you wouldn't want to have two people make recommendations yeah, and then somebody come and say, "Hey, what were you doing making that recommendation?" Right. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. See you afterwards. Hello. I just won a million dollars. What's that? What point? Not needing a quorum at the You don't need a quorum. You, you only need a quorum to vote. And if you're not voting, I mean, even if you had a regular meeting and you don't have a quorum, you could talk to people. You just can't vote on anything. No. I won't. I mean, you know, at this point, at this point, what do I do? Are they in violation? I can't find any proof that they built that little So what do I do? Send this thing to a violation? I don't know. Yes, but you should put them through the process. That's what I'm trying to do. Many years ago.